Infant colic, or excessive crying of no apparent cause, is a common and distressing condition affecting one in five babies less than three months old. Despite years of research, no one understands why infants experience colic and there are no effective management solutions. Therefore, there are many attempts to identify new, effective, safe and inexpensive treatments, one of which are probiotics. Probiotics are live microorganisms that can change gut microflora, reduce gut inflammation and possibly reduce pain perception in the gut. We aimed to determine whether the probiotic Lactobacillus reuteri was effective in reducing infant crying or fussing through a double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomised trial of infants less than three months old with colic, who were both breast and formula fed. We also assessed whether the probiotic was effective in improving infant sleep, maternal mental health, family functioning and quality of life. We recruited 167 families from the Royal Children's Hospital and the community in Melbourne, Australia. We randomly allocated 85 infants to receive the probiotic and 82 infants to receive placebo as five drops a day for one month. Carers recorded the infant's crying, fussing and sleep on the baby's day diary, a validated measure of infant distress once a week for one month and again at six months. We measured maternal mental health, family functioning and quality of life using validated questionnaires at baseline one and six months. So, what did we find? Unfortunately, Lactobacillus rotori did not affect infant crying or fussing, nor did it affect infant sleep, maternal mental health, family functioning or quality of life. This was the case even when we looked at the breastfed infants and the formula-fed infants separately. In fact, formula-fed infants in the probiotic group fussed more than those in the placebo group at all time points during the one-month study period. This is the largest and most rigorous randomised controlled trial showing Lactobacillus rotori to be ineffective in breastfed infants with colic and the first to show it to be ineffective in formula fed babies with colic. These results are contrary to previous evidence from smaller, less rigorous trials of exclusively breastfed infants with colic, which indicated it to be effective. At this stage, we cannot routinely recommend probiotics for the management of infants with colic. It is not effective in formula fed babies with colic and its use in breastfed babies with colic is still uncertain. <laughs>